Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to do the retail method to estimate ending inventory. If you're new here, my name's Jeff from Finally Learn, where we're teaching the financial accounting chapter. So we're in chapter five, working on inventory and cost of goods sold. Now, I've got lots of articles and videos and playlists in financial accounting. And so the previous videos in this chapter included FIFO and LIFO inventory and weighted average and inventory errors. Now we're to the point where we're talking about estimating ending inventory. Our previous video had gross profit method that we worked on estimating inventory using the gross profit method. And so here, this video works on the retail method. Now, why do we, would we need to estimate inventory? Well, it takes a while to count. Maybe we want a quick estimate or maybe there's some uh, reason why we're prevented from counting, like uh, there was a flood or fire or whatever, that inventory is destroyed. So let's look at our first example on the retail method. Now the retail method, basically we're saying, look, we have information at a cost and we have information at retail prices. So here typically are the five things that we're given. We're given beginning inventory at our cost and at the retail prices. So Inventory that we had at the very beginning, we are going to purchase at $27,000 and we're trying to sell it at $45,000. Then we made purchases of $183,000 and we're going to turn around and market at $305,000 for retail prices. Now, what is our goods available? Now, the other thing we do know is our sales at retail prices. So we're trying to figure out what is our ending inventory. And then we're going to do check our work to make sure we know how this we can understand this. All right, so what is our beginning inventory plus purchases? Well, that's 210000 That's our cost. And what is our retail prices? Well, same thing. I'm going to copy it across. So the 45 plus the 305 equals 350000 now, one thing we need to do, we need to calculate when we're working on the retail method, is we need to, when we get goods available, we need to calculate a cost to retail ratio, which is going to be a percentage. So we take our cost divided by the retail prices, and I already have it at 60%. Remember, in decimal format, this would be 0.6, but we want to put it in a percentage here. And hang on to two decimal places because sometimes we might have a number that doesn't come out very evenly. So you want to hang on to four decimal places, reduce any rounding error that you might have. Now, here's what typically the problems uh, work on. They typically figure out what the ending inventory is and they back in to find the cost of the ending inventory. But I want to complete this and then check our work to make sure you understand how this works. Now, what would our sales be at retail? Well, it's 333000 But what's our sales at cost? Well, our sales at cost would be 60% of that. So we could take the 333 times 60%. Okay, so our sales cost us 199800 Now, what's our ending inventory? Well, we can subtract this out, or we can keep doing the math here. 350 minus 333 is going to be 17,000 is our retail prices. And so 17,000 times 60% gives us 10,200. 10,200. Now we could simply subtract this out. 210 minus 199,800 gives us 10,200. So this is our answer. So the reason why we're doing the retail method is to try to find ending inventory. However, I want to think just one step further and show our work and check our work. So I think this will be helpful for you. So what's our sales? Our sales are 333. What is our cost of goods sold? Well, we don't have cost of goods sold here, do we? Cost of goods sold is the cost of the items that we sold. So cost of goods sold is $199,800. What's our gross profit? Well, $33 minus $199,800. We got $133,200. And let's do some percentages based on that. Remember, our sales are always 100%. So if we take $199,800 divided by our selling price 
of 333, that's 60%. Let's talk about that in just a second. 133 divided by the 333 gives us 40%. So let's think about this. The cost retail ratio is 60%. Typically, we call this the cost of goods sold percentage, or the other side of that, 100 minus 60 is 40% gives us the gross profit percentage. So this cost to retail ratio, we kind of define it. A lot of times textbooks and professors talk about the retail method and they use the cost to retail ratio. Well, that's really the same thing as our cost of goods sold percentage that we may already know. So to check our work, we're showing that we have 60% cost to retail ratio, even at the very bottom when we calculate the cost of goods sold, that 60%, these two match. And so we've checked our work, we feel good about our answer. The answer is any inventory of 10,200. Okay, let's do another one. I made another one that the numbers don't come out to be quite as uh, lovely 60%. So here's what we have. We have beginning inventory and purchases. We have uh, for at cost and retail. So let's calculate our total here is 242000 and 342650 at retail. So what is our cost divided by retail ratio? This is our cost of goods sold ratio. Remember, this is going to be way down here, the 70.63. Now let me talk about decimals just for a minute. If you came up in decimal form, it's 0.71. If on your calculator you have two decimals, then you think it's exactly 71%. It's not. It is 0.7063. If we do a percentage, then hang on to two extra decimal places. It's really 70.63%, not 71%. So your math is going to be off a little bit if you use 71% or 0.71. So be careful. You don't want to build in a rounding error or make a mistake. All right, so we can take the 342 minus the 314. So our Inventory at retail prices is 28,000, but we know inventory at sales are 314 times the 0.7063 is 221,836. We can take the 28,000 times the cost ratio, the cost to retail ratio. So our answer is 20,164. Let's check our work. If our sales are 314, and our cost of goods sold is 221. Then 314 minus 221, our gross profit is 92,264. We know that our sales are always are 100%. If I take the 221 divided by the 314, I'm gonna get my cost of goods sold percentage. And it's the same as our cost to retail ratio. So this is really cost of goods sold percentage. And we can sim simply subtract it out. We're going to get about 29.37. We can divide it either way. 29.37 is our gross profit percentage. So this is how you do the retail method. Check out the previous video on the gross profit method to estimate any in inventory. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Put questions down in the comments below, and I'll try do my best to answer your questions.